Sudhir Pestinji from Mumbai, India. I have been writing poetry for many, many years. This lot of poems I have been written in the like 2020 when I think the whole world was caught in this COVID saga and it's called the saga of 2020. It's a period when India went through a particularly tough time like many parts of the world. So I, we had lockdown and I spent a lot of my evenings uh, walking the only place I could which was on the rooftop of our building. And many of these poems were written over there or at least started there. The first one is called Road Roads, not rooftops. Roads, no, no rooftops. Streaking across city, screeching tires, shrieking sirens, cement churning, burning earth, oblivious of breeze. Rooftops. See crowns of flowering trees, underbellies of flying birds, limitless sky. Humans need roads, not rooftops. Roads lead from point A to point B to point C to earn money, catch planes, have coffee. Humans need roads, but rooftops is where the spirit grows. The second poem is called Lockdown Images. It's in two parts, Lockdown 1 and the second one, Lockdown 2, when a second lockdown was imposed up after a gap of a few weeks. Lockdown 1 Empty streets, confused crows conferencing at midday, mid street. At street corners, huddles of humans, suddenly jobless. My dentist becomes an astronaut, PPE suit, gloves, socks, keeping us safe. Highways jammed with human traffic. No bus, truck or car. Humans walking, walking, dying, still walking. A crying child tugging at her dead mother. Another child sleeping on a suitcase dragged by a father, all walking, walking, endlessly walking. Lockdown 2. Long lines of seniors waiting, sleeves rolled up, needles on tender skin, Day after day after day, the horror begins. Lines of burning fires on pavements, parks, parking lots. The one in the left corner is my mother. Mother's skin mingled with cow dung ash because wood has run out. Horror intensifies. Bodies floating down the Ganges. Not five, ten or a dozen, but hundreds, thousands, burnt or half burnt. 
holy, beautiful Ganga, desecrated, carrying disease from city to town to village. How can we live with these grotesque images? Will our children ever forget? How dare we let them forget? The next poem is called Street Girl Among Migrants. As many of you may know, during the first lockdown, thousands of people from urban cities walked th hundreds of miles to their villages. But this street girl, this girl was someone who had grown up in the streets and was used to poverty. Street girl among migrants. She stood apart protecting her heart from the multitude thronging free food. Alone she was, free from the pain of mothers suckling hungry babies to dry nipples, free from the grief of fathers carrying dying children on blistered, cracked souls, free from the confusion in armies of frightened eyes fleeing starvation, this side or that, erect shoulders, breasts covered by tattered dress, legs defiantly astride, Saucer eyes staring haughtily at the unending line. Hungry she was too, but she was used to it. Unlike those whose work was snatched away at the midnight hour. Her hunger had coalesced into anger. Anger that kept her afloat against gundas, rapists, corrupt cops, scared off with her acid tongue spouting bone rattling curses from terrifying gods. Her mission? To inject her voice into kids with sun bleached hair like her own, fill them with the anger she has known, which alone can be their weapon to survive. One evening when I reached the, the rooftop, I found the floor spattered with grey feathers and blood. Grey feathers and blood on the floor. A pigeon has been killed on the rooftop. A jobless father weeps for his hungry son. Mother silently cooks the strange bird. Both dip dry bread in gravy after the child sleeps. The next poem is called Corona Moon. Cold, gold moon looms over dark earth flashing obverse stars. Oblivious of dreams gone sour, of crashes, clashes, unspeakable lashes of disease, decay, death. House shrinking into hut, hut dissolving into mud, mud 
uniting bones with earth as ash feet march on and on and on. Old gold moon observes unperturbed despite its magnetic bond with Mother Earth. I live behind a main city road which connects North and South Bombay. So during the COVID period, there were constant sounds of ambulances. The eighth ambulance races past, sirens screaming. Is the patient within known or unknown? Does it have oxygen, a doctor? Will they reach help in time? It's just midday. How many more before the day ends? The next poem is called Death in Numbers. Numbers numb blinding us to faces, bodies, persons. A thousand deaths shock, but without pain. A single death is mourned when it's a lone person. Each number in the thousand has a face, a family devastated by death. Every death creates mourners who won't forget. They will refuse to be reduced to numbers for election rallies. Their grief will bounce out of graves as ghosts deadlier than the virus to crush men who only think numbers. No forgetting, no forgiving. This one is called Heartless Hawk. Hawk observes from the crest of a tree Sparrows scrambling from branch to branch, parrots fluttering frantically, pigeons droning morosely, crow beaks searching for life-giving water. Hearts aflame in fires, bodies engulfed on pyres, only ash remains of loved and cherished humans. Hawk stares unflinching. Who can make him fly? The next poem is very personal. It's called Helpless. Helpless is what I feel, unable to support a friend whose wife is dying, not of COVID, but of complications that had solutions before COVID arrived. A hospital bed, intravenous drips, nebula nebulizer might have saved her, but Terrorized by the bug, buildings bar barred medical staff. Braving it alone is tough. Only the routine of daily chores 
supports soon that too will be gone The next poem speaks of the experiences of a friend who was admitted into a COVID hospital and who recovered. In a COVID ward, patients bereft of family and friends bond into a community of shared anxieties, restlessness, pain, and a burning desire for relief. Punjabi, Muslim, Marwari, Jaiswal all experience the same pain, the same discomfort, the same fear. Will I make it? Doctors, nurses, plunge needles, adjust drips, Struggle to make it. Struggle to smile through fatigue. The encouraging vo voices come from co-patients, empathizing. Is the plasma donor Muslim or Hindu? Who cares? Only healing matters. Only relief matters. Intermingling blood saves lives. One by one, patients leave. Humans healed of a deadly virus. We are family now, is the parting greeting. Life goes on despite Corona, which is the title of the next poem. Despite Corona, flowers refuse to forego summer bloom, decorating streets pink, yellow, lilac, maroon. Nor does the breeze stop rustling trees as earth radiates Warm smoke, soil smells awaiting the rain. Crows caw, parrots shriek, white pigeons return light to a sinking sun. Fireflies flash sparkles through the night as they did before. Yes, we can survive Corona. Yes, we will survive Corona. Surely humans have greater resilience than flowers, insects, birds. As we came to the close of 2020, everyone was cursing the year, saying, well, it's been the worst year the world has known and uh, May we never experience such a bad year again. So here is 2020 talking back to the world. 2020 is shrinking, hated by the whole world. Why, he cries, I have nothing to gain or lose by giving you, I have nothing to lose or gain by giving you pleasure or pain, like 2019 before me and 2021 after me, I am just a number marking time. That's the end. Thank you. Hope you've enjoyed the presentation.